Welcome everybody, it's Friday. Thanks for coming and checking out the video. My name is Sylvia and I hope you enjoy this video which is about card making and doing it without having any stamps. Um, here I'm showing you all the different ones that I've done so far, uh, while I've been sick actually. Um, I didn't really feel like painting, like doing my own painting sort of thing, so I thought Oh, let's do a little bit of experiment, let's see if this works. And um, I thought it was a very good way of doing a video for, for you guys so that you, you get to know that there's so many more options for you. Now, you can use a cookie cutter even um, to and just trace around it and it gives you your basics or you can use one of these fondant extruder things and um, just put some watercolour paint or whatever on the edges and then just press it down on your um, paper. You can use um, fly screen mash or the um, rubber mat for the drawers um, or a sponge for doing um, amazing backgrounds. You know, it give you certain patterns and stuff. Um, you can use stencils. I just picked out a couple. Um, this one here is of a little bird, or shall I say, it's of a bird in three different sizes, which I actually did in the pictures on the top left hand corner, um, which turned out amazing. Um, here I'm showing you that if you have makeup brushes and you don't use them, you can use them for your craft. So you can use them for your watercolour pa um, painting or um, you know, putting other mediums on, dust them on, whatever it is that you need it for. Um, oil pastels, they're pretty good. Any pastels really um, that you can use in order to colour in. Uh, gel pens, they're pretty awesome, especially the uh, glitter ones. I'm fascinated with them. Uh, <laughs> and then you've got your watercolour pencils, which I actually be using in this one. And the other one that you can use is, of course, water paints. Uh, you can also use acrylic paints or oil paints. It's entirely up to you. Um, it doesn't really matter. You can still use it. Now here I'm showing you some glycerine that um, I use in some of my projects. Um, so that's something that's handy to have on hand, um, especially with what I'm going to show you next. Um, and if you actually want me to do a tutorial on it um, please leave a comment below and let me know you do and here I'm showing you my eyeshadow collection and our main collection now every woman's got a collection and we don't use all the colors so um, you know instead of them just sitting there doing nothing well you can use them for your crafts and what I generally do is just scrape a little bit off um, put it on a um, tile or um, a little palette or something and then I add a few drops of the uh, glycerine and then I'll just mix it together and then add it onto my um, project. Now here's the experiment that's actually um, watercolour paper which I have put through my printer. Now I know not all printers will be able to do it but it's worth giving it a go. Um, I basically just went on to Google uh, images and looked up colouring in pictures and oh boy there's some amazing ones there and I just went into a word document put them in there and then printed it out now I also printed it on an A4 sheet paper in case you cannot put the watercolour paper through the um, printer and I've got a light box here but it's Generally, it's actually quite easy to make one up if you have something with glass and you just need a light bulb and Bob's the uncle. <laughs> and um, basically, you just put your sheet down and you put your um, watercolour paper over the top and then you can just um, trace it and it doesn't really take all that long. As long as you don't pick one that's got so much details of it isn't funny, you know, it'll take you a bit longer than what I'm doing here. Um, I'm only just doing the little dolphin, because uh, one, I think he's cute, and two, I love dolphins. So, you know, I, I thought it was a good one to sketch. Um, yeah, so 
you know, like basically use your imagination. Look around. What have you got laying around that just sits there and does nothing? What can you do with it? You know, there's so many things that we have that we could be using or utilising um, in our crafts instead of it just sitting there collecting dust. So it's one of the things that I love about being um, an artist because I always look for ways to do things without having to go and spend the money. You know, you might be financially quite tight, so, you know, you can't go out and bowl the uh, U-boot things like stamps, you know, um, they cost quite a bit, so um, it's sort of, yeah, it gets very, very expensive, so finding ways you can still be creative without it costing you a fortune, I think that's a pretty awesome way to do things, so... Now, I'm just packing up right now um, and preparing to do the colouring in on a couple of the pictures. Uh, no, I'm not. Oh, forgive me. There was another one I was going to show you, which is um, sketching um, a landscape and then you can paint that. So, you know, it's just a matter of, of just sort of sketching a few mountains and um, also sketching um, like a river bank, you know, just for something for me to work on and then I can add whatever I want to it and I can use whatever medium I want as well, you know. And don't be scared to uh, mix your mediums either, um, you know. You can come up with some really amazing things by mixing your media. So, and um, I actually did a card uh, not that long ago, which I've posted to somebody, and I might put it on the end of this video for you to see. And I actually did a landscape um, card for her, and honestly, it looks absolutely amazing. So, um, as I I'll. I'll put it on the back of the, at the end of the video so you can have a look at it. Now I'm ready to do some colouring in. Apparently I'm one step ahead of myself, so um, the ones I'm actually going to be colouring in is the Happy Mother's Day one and Winnie the Pooh. Um, I didn't want to take too long on the video because otherwise you're just going to hear me rambling and yeah, I couldn't handle my, hearing myself rambling on for ever so uh, here I'm just putting some magenta um, on my actual heart and uh, yes it did take me quite some time between coughing and splattering and blowing my nose and going I so don't like feeling the way I'm feeling however it stopped me from being stuck in bed and you know I I would rather sit there and be creative than being stuck in bed and do nothing. So, um, <laughs> and here I'm just colouring in the rose with a bit of um, uh, bright red and then I actually end up putting a little bit of orange tinge into it um, and I highlight it with a little bit of the um, Chinese white and it actually um, yeah, it actually ended up turning out quite nice. Um, and now I'm colouring in the leaves and the stem and after that I'll be colouring in the little banner which I actually did in um, just a bright yellow. Um, I think it was cadmium yellow actually. And then I go in and colour in the, the writing in a purple. So, but yeah, um, again, do let me know what sort of videos you'd like me to do. You know, what, and also let me know where you struggle. You know, 
so that I know what sort of videos to do. Um, and I love doing videos for people like about things that they actually struggle with and um, try and help you out so that you know you can sort of get over that little hurdle. Um, yeah, and I've just lost my train of thought, which is unbelievable. I don't know. Must be almost time to go to bed, I think. <laughs> yeah. um, which I do a little bit off too. Now, doing Winnie the Pooh, I actually decided to use the watercolour pencils. And I'm using some orange first. And basically colouring his body. And now I'm going in with some yellow orange. And then I'm actually going to go in with some lemon. Um, and I love the way it actually turned out because it really showed the true colours of Winnie the Pooh. Um, I used to love sketching him. I should do that one day again. So, <laughs> and here I'm just colouring in his uh, top in two different reds. Um, I can't remember which colours I used, so. Um, I should start remembering to actually write it down because my other videos I used to talk while I was doing it but I sort of realised that I was struggling quite a bit trying to talk as well as you know concentrating on what I was doing where in a normal classroom situation it's completely different because you wouldn't be talking the co continuously and working at the same time you would actually you know show a little bit and then you stop and you wait for uh, your students to sort of catch up. So completely different scenario. So I've decided to um, do a voiceover instead. Um, but unfortunately this flu has really affected my memory as well. And yeah, it's sort of like sometimes I can think of something and then it's sort of, it's gone. So. Now here I'm just going in with some gel pens. Now around the heart I actually went around it with some uh, red glitter and then I started using a bright yellow uh, glitter which I put around the little banner and I'm using the, it's like a golden yellow glitter that I was using on the uh, actual rose and here I'm going in with the um, uh, purple glitter. Now I do hope you enjoyed this video and um, and I hope to see you guys next week and until then have a fantastic weekend and an amazing week. Catch you all next Friday. Bye!